All right, so how did the issues with the game start? Well, when I had a problem with Tiger, I saw some tweet about the nigga talking about he going to pull someone's uh, hair or some shit. Uh, he was just talking mad shit, bro, and I know it was directed to, and I'm a real nigga, dog, so any beef that I got to handle, bro, I, I address it, and that's it. It is what it is, dog. So then tell me about the night that you you went out uh, looking for the game. Like, um, did you feel you were sucker punched? Like, just kind of go through your, your mental state when you were going out to go find him that night. I mean, dog, I saw some shit on Instagram on some, some uh, I think it was, I don't know if it was Baller Alert or somewhere, dog, that he wrote on a comment back to another fan that he's been praying that he wants me to pull up on him. And I pulled up, and the nigga couldn't handle his own dirt. I got sucker punched, and it is what it is. Every man take a fall. That ain't nothing to me, nigga. So it is what it is, dog. I mean. How do you look back on the night? Like, you know, anything you would have said, you thought you might have did different? Or, you know, nah, nah. I showed my motherfucking face. I walked up to you and your own squad. And you couldn't handle your own beef. All you had to do was fight me one on one. And I would have gave you the respect whether you won or lost and said, nigga, you a man. And that's it. It would have ended right there. But he didn't. He didn't handle his own dirt. It is what it is. You feel me? Is it uh is it true that the games manager tried to fight you when you was locked up and you come on man the nigga trying to make up lies bro anytime you have an altercation and you get into an altercation with somebody and both of you go to jail they will separate you ain't no CEO's gonna let you fight because that's their job on the line. So first of all, that nigga need to stop lying. That's a lie. And that's all my three kids, nigga. People are saying that the people that jump you were your friends. Um, are the rumors true that game set it up? Of course, brother. Niggas just don't turn from one day to the next. A little petty money talks to petty ass niggas, whether it was 500, whether it was 10 racks. And niggas switch sides. I pulled up on my own niggas. Wasn't expecting no shit to happen. And all of a sudden, an altercation came, dog, and I had niggas hitting me, dog. What the hell am I going to do? You feel me? It is what it is, dog. I'm a man, dog. Why do you think that game would, would set that up? Why do you think he would go, you know what I mean, go through the trouble? Of course he just wants to keep humiliating a nigga, but to be honest, this shit ain't humiliating a nigga. You humiliated, bro. You couldn't handle your own dirt. And that's what it is, dog. And I'm glad it happened because at the end of the day, those niggas was my niggas. You feel me? And they've been riding, for, riding with me for a little minute, dog. So at the end of the day, I learned my own lesson. So everything happens for a reason in life. So now I just know not to trust not one motherfucker out there. And that's it. By myself and my kids. And that's it. It is what it is. But one thing I can guarantee is nobody will ever get, nobody, nobody will ever catch me slipping again. Nobody. What do you, how do you think about everything that's been going on with the media in terms of like how this has transpired? Because, you know, people are just getting, they're just looking at it from one side. Like, how do you feel about the way the media is? I mean, dog, any publicity, dog, is good publicity. Whether it's bad or good, the shit helping me. My followers going up, the comments going up, my views on YouTube going up. I know what I'm doing, dog. At the end of the day, my career is going to keep going. Suckers going to be suckers. Think about it. The niggas who jumped me driving a Mini Cooper, dog, talking about they saying that I wanted to rob them and all that shit. What the fuck I'm going to rob a nigga who drives a Mini Cooper for? Not a damn thing, nigga. I got too much money in my bank account. I got too much to lose to go and rob a nigga. Rob a nigga who lives with his mama. <laughs> Come on. Be real. Be honest. Think about it. If I rob you, it's going to be for a brick. Five, ten, twenty. It ain't going to be for your Mini Cooper. <laughs> and and to be honest dog it's just crazy dog because niggas out here dog is snakes just like this animal right here they snakes they snakes that's all they is snakes that's all they is if they if one motherfucker out there thinks that this shit is hurting me emotionally physically bruh a mark on my face a knockout whether the fuck, whatever the fuck it was, I'm still standing right here, still screaming, fuck every nigga. And they gonna have to kill me, nigga. Cause I ain't scared of death. So what do you have to say for people questioning your credibility after all this, you know what I mean?
My credibility A1, nigga. I've been on these streets, nigga. I really sold dope. The game ain't never sold no dope. The nigga used to dance, bruh. How you supposed to be a rapper who when you used to be a stripper? You got to pick a profession, nigga. Whether you going to dance or you going to rap. Because all of a sudden you went from dancing to talking about dope and killing and robbing and all that stuff. When really, nigga, you know you ain't on that bullshit, bruh. And how we know this dog, how we know he ain't about it? Because, nigga, you won't shoot a nigga of the fair one-on-one -on -one, like a real man would do. And whatever is going, whatever the outcome of this whole situation is going to be, it is what it, it is. What it is. You feel me? I can't change the outcome. Whatever happened, happened. But it ain't hurting me. It making me more motherfucking money. That's for damn sure. Where do you see yourself going from here after all this? Not, not all this is... Shit, I'm about to drop a lot of music right now and the, the street's gonna see what it's all about. It's all about the music. Yeah, you might think you got street credit, but you don't, nigga. I got street credit. And the niggas around who doing dirt and doing all that dirty shit to me, dog, it's just teaching me a lesson. And that's it. I'm glad it happened. I'm genuinely glad it happened. Because I now I know who's my niggas. Nobody. So you really feel like it's the game, it's the, not even, I'm not talking about the game, the rapper, but the entire rap game, the whole media yeah. against you, basically. Yeah, yeah, dog, this whole game is dirty. It comes with it, dog. It comes with robbing. It comes with, with drugs. It comes with, with, with dirty, slimy ass niggas who one day shake your hand and beg you for an Instagram shout out who says they your niggas, they gonna ride for you. And all of a sudden they come set me up acting like everything was cool on the phone. And then I pull up, see all the niggas rushing me. I'm going to do whatever any other man do. I don't got no strap on me. I'm trying to get away from the damn situation. But best believe I'm going to handle it. Every dog got their day, homeboy. Hey, anything else you, you want people to know? I mean, I want to let anybody know who's getting into this type of industry. Learn from my mistakes. Because when you look at other people's mistakes, you should be learning from them. Because if I made this, if I made the mistake, you shouldn't. So don't trust nobody. Just if you're going to do your music, do your music. Go to the studio, get your shit done and go back to your family. Because at the end of the day, the only people that are going to care about you is your motherfucking family. And that's it. And that's facts of life. I'm 20 years old. I'm a young ass nigga. I still got a lot of learning to do. I can admit that. But I got a motherfucking heart, nigga. I walked up to his squad and he didn't do his own dirt. He said, pull up. I pulled up. I'm a man of my word. People can see it however they want. I don't give a fuck about their opinion. I know what the fuck happened and I know what's really real and what's true. I stay true to the game, dog. And if I got to die for this shit, nigga, trust me, I will die. Because I don't fear death, nigga. I don't fear a man. I don't fear nobody. I got a family to protect. I got a life to live to support my motherfucking kids. And that's what it is. You know, like... There ain't nothing else to be said, bro. Like, so what about people? Some people say that, like, you claim certain things, but then it's like some people say that there's your your backstory is completely different than what you really portray. So what do you what do you have to say to those people? I mean, brother, when you see a video of certain things, you ain't seeing the shit that happens before that video. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't seeing shit in my perspective. You seeing it out of a video pers uh, perspective on World Star or on um, any type of media, it takes any motherfucker to go on a website and type mother, type some bullshit lies. You feel me? So whatever they're going to talk, they're going to talk regardless. But I know who I am. I'm a real street nigga. And the day that the game wants to come and shoot a one-on-one, -on -one, whether he wins, whether he loses, I will give him his props for being a real nigga. And the situation is done. You feel me? So right now, you don't even consider him a real nigga, just for the simple fact. Bro, he is not a real nigga, bro. If I walk up to you, you told me to pull up. You acting like you're going to fight, and then you have your manager sucker punch me. How is you a real nigga because of that? Because the comments all saying you ain't a real nigga. You ain't handle your own dirt. You just another snake like this right here. So if the game says pull up again, you going back out there? If he tells me to pull up again, best believe I'm going to pull up again. And if I get my ass knocked out again, I'll pull up the third time again. But just know the second time I pull up, I'm going to be ready. Why do you think Game didn't want to even fight, like face you off that night? Because he was scared, bro. He was scared. 
He's a scary ass nigga. I know a lot of niggas that know that nigga. A lot of motherfuckers who was friends with that nigga all called them out. You feel me? You have beef with a lot of niggas. It tells you certain things about a certain person. They obviously ain't A1 like they claim to be. You feel me? Come on, let's be honest. 